Hi folks, and welcome to another gripping installment of In The Sound Mind. I really enjoyed that uh, playthrough on Friday night, and I'm quite looking forward to see how, seeing how the character progresses. It just shows you, you, you build up these games in your Steam library when they're, when they're on sale. You just grab them when they're on sale, and then <laughs> you never play them. So here's another one that looks, hopefully, is going to turn out quite good. So let's jump in and continue where we left off. I obviously haven't played any further. That's, that's a good point. Oh, it's saved. Let's continue the game. All right, we've got auto save the building. 952. Right, so that's obviously going up. So it's auto saved. All right, so we might have to backtrack a little bit. Let's have a look. Right, yeah, so I think we've had to backtrack a little bit. We've got the tape. So I think this is where we left off, wasn't it, guys? Tape. I'll tell you what, let's... There you go, X is the... Mission button. It's my tape player. Listen to your tape. Yeah, go on in. This is where we left off, wasn't it? Where all hell broke loose. We had the uh, somebody's got the fluorescent lights on in that corridor on full, full power. So we thought we were going to get some more clues with that tape, didn't we? We turn that off. No sign of the cat. Just one solitary paw print. Oh, right. We've got to be careful with these batteries, haven't we? Right, okay. There's only one thing for it. We're going to have to go through the door. Okay, that is definitely not the corridor we came just came through, is it? Let's go. tape is called Desmond. Was Desmond the character? I can't remember now. Are we Desmond or... Right. Well, obviously we've been... We've been gaslighted a bit here. We're going to have to follow this, uh, this, this... These bridges. Oh, I up. Can we zoom in on the cat? Good thumbnail, so we'll take a picture of that. <laughs> okay. In an unexpected turn of events, it seems I'm the one who's losing my mind. Why or how this is all happening is beyond me. But as strange as this is, I'm equally as fascinated as I am scared. Okay. So we're losing our mind, we're scared, but we're also fascinated. Oh, and the cat's gone. Right, okay. Just checking on our... our controls. It's wrong, isn't it? I could have sworn there was a zoom in on this. Right, right so... 
so God knows what this place is here. What's that over there? What's the tape? Look. It's like a big... Yeah. So this is obviously some type of thought or recollection in Desmond's head. Or our head, I think. That makes sense. Right. Let's see what else he's got to say. Life at Milton Haven has become unfamiliar lately. People are... Well, I'm starting to see unusual patterns, behaviors. Ever since the crash, maybe. It's beginning crash. to make sense, I suppose. My own feelings of dread, of fear, are similar mm. to those of my patients. Right, okay. I wonder if all this water is... It's got to be connected to that flood right at the beginning of the game, isn't it? You'd think. Anyway, let's get a shift on. Oh, look, there's the cat again. Let me see the cat. That'd definitely make a good thumbnail, so we'll take a picture of that, definitely. some type of portal, isn't it? We're going to have to go through that, though. Let's have another quick look around. That's pretty cool, that, the way I've done that. That's the tape there. God, blimey, I remember that. I remember getting my first Walkman. It shows how old I am. Okay with you? All right. Right. Okay. The cat has passed me a elevator button. Ah, right. Okay. Thanks, cat. Can we stroke you? No. Definitely another um, screenshot there. Can we feed Tanya? Tanya? No, I don't think we can. Anything else we need in here? Notice the old gramophone there, look. I've been actually tempted myself to get back into vinyl. And treat myself to a record player, but I don't know if I could just be bothered with the Moida. It's, it's the in thing now, retro, to have, have your albums and read the gate full sleeves and the whole the whole um, <clears throat> thing of getting the record out and all of you. But I, I don't know, I just, 
just like clicking on MP3s. It's like easy, isn't it? Sacrilege. Anyway, let's get going. Cat's gone. Just gonna... Okay, so this is how we left it. God's sake. This elevator button is missing. Oh. <laughs> I could hear it coming behind me. Oh my god. Wow. That was definitely a rush that. Zoom on it. it must have been a different game. Oh, we can go. No, it's not going to let us in. I'll tell you what, this music is atmospheric, isn't it? Atmospheric or. Definitely puts the craps up you. <laughs> oh, God, what's that now? What's this here? Health points. We don't need health points because. Actually, haven't taken any damage. We won't answer that. Well, look at that phone just yet. We've had enough of the phone for a bit. Okay, police line, do not cross. So, it looks like it can be cut. It's like a crime scene, isn't it? Utility room. Okay, so this is where we can do a bit of uh, washing. My pants could do with the chucking the laundry after those those scares. <laughs> Jump up there and have a look. What's going on? Okay, let's 
Let's jump up. That's another battery. Puts us up to where you want to set. Oh, another one. What? Well, that's the health point. We're okay for health. Okay, I've done a trouble so far. If you're reading this, it means I was right. In that case, slide second floor above the vending machine. Barrel, first floor maintenance room, taped under the table. Grip, basement behind the middle laundry machine. You've got my back, I've got you. Right, so that's a gun. We've got to find the bits for a gun. So that tells me there's some serious Serious trouble coming our way. So what floor are we on? We're on the first floor now. Are we? Yeah. So, maintenance room taped under the table. Basement behind the middle laundry machine. Second floor above the vending machine. following me. Don't need health points. Can we get through there? No. So on this floor we need to look under a table. But I, I think we picked the the intermediary intermediary um, dif difficulty level, so it's probably being a bit forgiving. Maintenance room, so there was a table in the maintenance room, wasn't it? We can't go this way. Say she look. Just gonna gingerly pass this. Right, okay, so we've we've done that that particular room. And what was it? It was the washing machine in the basement. floor where my office is, isn't it? So it's above the vending machine, that's it. So let's just a quick look around here. East hallway. Okay. Ah, right. Now what do we do? Do we Try and avoid this glass. Anyway. Mm. Now 
do we go through there now or do we backtrack to try and find the bits and pieces? Let's go through over here. Okay, so this is Virginia. He said he was gonna focus on. In my cracking glass here, so I'm presuming that's gonna alert. We are sad to inform you that. We will be closing our store at the end of this week. Unfortunately, we can no longer compete with the largest supermarket chains that have laid their claim to our small town. We wish to thank you for your patronage and invite you to our going out of business sale this Thursday. Stay classy, Milton Hayden, Eden Groves Grocery Store. Okay, so did Virginia work there? Don't need a battery just yet. Yeah, I'm presuming that's not gonna. You're not gonna literally want to sit down. Okay. You're not gonna exactly want to watch telly at a time like this, eh? Dearest, I've resorted to writing you letters because you won't answer your phone. I'm surprised not to hear the answering machine we bought you. Come on, is it broken? Your father insisted we send you money for the electric bill, and though you know I love you and will support you, I do not want to encourage you begging us for money every other month. You need to find something more lucrative. Selling your toys is too niche. You were always such a personality. Maybe you could use that to your advantage somehow. Anyway, love and love and love. Please answer your phone. Mum, Dad and Freddy. Wow. Okay, so Virginia is obviously... I'm guessing she's holding a job down in a store whilst trying to... pursue her creative side. In the hope of making money that way. Not gonna answer the phone. So yeah, and mum and dad are obviously trying to help her along financially. But... It sounds like she's been put on the spot because she may have lost her... her sort of... full-time real-life job. Okay, we'll take the battery. We don't need the health points. So let's answer the phone. Okay, nothing. Pointless. Do for a thumbnail. We've not missed anything, I like we guys. Oh, yeah, we came in that way, didn't we? Did we come in that way? No, we did we? Yeah, we did. Okay, turn the flashlight off. We go down to the basement because at least we know that thing's not down there. And then face up to that because that's on the third, second floor where my office is, isn't it? That's where, where we need to collect the um, two other parts for the gun. So I guess we're going to have to. Well, if we, I'm thinking if we answer this phone, it means the. That ink blot is going to come up and terrorise us up here. That makes sense. There were two phones as well, weren't there? There's 
There's one there. Right, so I'm going to go down to the basement. We should be safe down there. <laughs> well, there was nothing down there when we left. By the washing machine, wasn't it? Middle washing machine. It's that one, isn't it? So presumably we're going to have to jump up on this damn thing. Every three pills. Okay, but well where's where's the bits of the gun? It's a fuse box. Don't need nothing. That. to a gun. Out of the way. We've sussed it, guys. Got it. Wow. <laughs> we need to get the fuse back. <laughs> I'm quite pleased with myself there, sussing that out. That's called good vibrations. piece of the pistol is in 
the vending machine, which is up by my office where that bloody ink splat thing monster is hanging out. Now, how do we get to... How do we get to that boil, boiler room? So we need that gas mask. Hmm. First of all, we need to put the fuse back in the lift. Okay, it's a fuse box. Okay, that's back in. I'm thinking I'm going to risk going back up to the first floor and trying to get that last piece of the pistol, but I could get in big trouble. Let's do it. Go home, guys. And so it was floor two, wasn't it? Yeah. So presumably this thing is still scouring round up there. where the uh, vending machine is, wasn't it? I don't think it is, guys. Up oh, there it is, there, yeah. There it is. Right. I'll take that. Let's leg it back to my office. Presuming that with this, this, this sort of like mellow, contemplative music that we're safe in here. <laughs> Let's check our inventory. Right, inventory pistol slide. workbench right so we've got to go back down to the basement okay I feel a cliffhanger coming here guys so let's get back down to the basement if we can, oh look we can access time for some music why not no dice gonna stop it here but let's try and get to the basement presuming something's gonna try and stop us getting there like it guys
right, so if I remember back to the first part, it was a workbench down here, wasn't it? That sums us up. I hope I don't have to use this. Trouble is, this. All right, we've got a point, but there's no bullets in it, is it? All right, it's saying down there, eight of zero. Shall we risk a shot? That's telling me you can put eight bullets in it, but there's nothing in there. Oh, right, there is. So it comes loaded. Right, so we're we're actually Okay, so now why swaps our weapons? So we can sort this this guy out on the second floor now. Farm a moment. We're gonna wait till the next episode to see how Desmond gets his mask. So, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.